What's up, Vogue gang? So if you would like to see how I got this look, please, 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 please be sure to watch this complete video. I will be giving you guys a little, let's say, a little, a little gift at the end of this video and the first three people to comment below as to what the little hint is to the gift um down below on <laughs> in the um comments section i will be giving you something but you guys have to watch the complete video and comment what i say down below and from there on i'll be contacting you guys and please be sure to be following our instagram page amber's vault cole once you comment and that way i will hit you up um, through direct message to tell you what the prize is but you have to be following us on instagram amber's vault cole i'll put it down below as well in the bio so let's get ready with the details on this specific look um so i already prepped and did my eyebrows before this bit um before i started recording and i'm just showing you guys how i decided to outline my eyebrows and i always outline my eyebrows with my concealer with a flat end brush so what like so what like I, what i do is i highlight the bra my brow bone with my concealer and the concealer that I use is from NARS, um, Radiant Concealer, and the two con the first concealer that I use on my eyebrows, I believe, is Cafe, and then for my contouring is what I use, which is the darker tone concealer, which is the Walnut. So as you can see, I'm outlining the bottom of my eyebrows, which is the brow bone, with um Cafe, and I'm going ahead and I always like to highlight the middle part of my eyebrows, and then I go ahead and I go on top and start outlining the top. Um, I always find it easier to outline my eyebrows because my eyebrows are arch with a round ended brush. I know some girls like to use a flat ended, more straight cut, precise bra um brush, but I always prefer a rounded brush because it's just easier for me to get through the lines and shaping of my eyebrows. So what I go ahead and do is go ahead and I start dabbing in that concealer to my face with my fluffy brush. Um, this brush, and excuse me if I'm saying it wrong, it's from Japanese, I believe. Um, and I got this brush from Burlington Co Factory. Um, don't sleep on Burlington and do not sleep on Marshalls. They be having high ended brushes for cheap. Yes, they do. I would not buy their makeup products because a lot of their makeup products be expired. But when it comes to brushes and sponges or any other utensils, those are my go to places to buy them because I'm not spending <laughs> a huge amount, huge amount of money on brushes when I could find a bargain, baby. So yeah, so I go ahead and I conceal. You see me just giving y'all the eye look. <laughs> I go ahead and I just keep concealing, concealing, and concealing. And before this video, I went ahead and I um I primed my face with um. So what I'm demonstrating to you guys right here is that you never want your eyebrows to give you that box look. Like your eyebrows are best friends. They are not twin sisters. <laughs> So what I was showing you guys right here is that when you get that box look in the front, you want to make sure that you blend it out. Even if you have to take a fluffy brush and blend that to front part out, go ahead and do that. If you guys want me to do an eyebrow tutorial, I'll be more than gladly just to make a brow tutorial on that. But you got to comment below and let me know. Um. So yeah. I then start priming my eyelids with the P. Louise base. Um, I really love, I was dying to get my hands on this concealer um, eyeshadow base. And when I finally did, honey, it makes a difference with the eyeshadow pigments. It just makes any eyeshadow pop 
out vividly. So I go ahead and I start applying it. Um, one thing about this eyebrow base is that it's very tacky, meaning it is sticky. So any amount of powder that you put into this base is going to stick. Like it's going to really stick. You're going to see what I'm talking about. So I'm applying this um, eyeshadow base. And then I go ahead and I start applying it with a beauty blender as well. I always like to apply it first with a brush to see how much amount of um base I will use and then I just go ahead and um blend it in with a damp beauty blender um the next step that I did I wish I never did that because when I went ahead and I applied um my setting powder onto the um the shadow base it literally transformed it into my skin tone I did not want that I literally wanted the um the because the eyeshadow base just to be the eyeshadow base. Like, you don't have to apply a, a, a setting powder on top of this eyeshadow base unless that's your preference. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Once it gets to that point, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It gets, it starts to blend in too well with my skin tone that when I started to apply the shadows, I had to keep applying and applying and applying and that's just a waste of product. So next time I won't be doing that, honey. And that's just the perks of beauty and that's just the perks of being a makeup artist. You catch your flaws and you go ahead and you make it flawless later. And look at me, just... <laughs> I don't know what song I was singing at that point, but you can tell I was getting crazy to the music. Like, this is like why I like to do voiceover videos from time to time because you get to see how silly I am opposed to when I'm just doing my makeup and you guys are just hearing me out while I'm doing my makeup. Like, no, just get to see the goofy side of me. Like, music is my thing. Um, and also what I decided to do is go ahead and outline that eyebrow bone with the eyeshadow base. I know I already highlighted it with my other concealer, but I just wanted to highlight that eyebrow bone just because of a simple fact. I might put an eyeshadow up there or I might go ahead and put some highlighter and I just wanted it to pop. That was the whole point of this makeup video was to make a, cre a um a creation where it just popped with vivid colors because the point of me the reason why i created this video is to show off well to highlight my eyeshadow palette from amber's vault co and <clears throat> i wanted you guys to see how in depth and how vivid my pigments are on my eyeshadow base i mean my eyeshadow palette i took my time it took me a, a two years to come out with this eyeshadow palette, I wanted to make sure that I came out with colors and pigments that do attract melanin females. Like, I am a melanin female, no shade to any other women of color, but I wanted something to stand out for me, and I wanted to stand something to stand out for all women who are melanin. So, um, first, I decided to highlight that eyebrow bone with that nude shade from um, Morph. 9k palette i okay, really so, like these mini like palettes before, that they came out with to go in with um, that color in gem gem on my brow bone um and then as soon as i finished my brow bone i started to go in into my inner eyelid with um the color in aura which is that vivid pink when i was applying aura i wasn't i wasn't um very satisfied with the pigmentation because of the simple fact that I told you before um, I blended in the what you call it the face um the damn I got brain fart right now <laughs> with the loose powder onto the um eyeshadow bite eyeshadow base so it turned my it turned the eyeshadow base into a neutral color so the pigments were not coming into this um, pigmented as I like. So I started to go in with the Masquerade Palette from Juvia's Place. Mini Masquerade Palette. I started to go in with that vivid pink that it has, which is like a glittery pink. And mixing it in with the aura, with the pink that's um, in my eyeshadow palette. 
as you can see right there, I'm showing you the pink from the Mini Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place. Um, I really, Juvia's Place is really my go-to for vivid um, colors. I like their mattes, vivid colors, and I just went ahead and continued to apply Aura on top of that first um, layer that I put from the Mini Masquerade palette. And I just continued to blend it in with a fluffy brush. Um, I always like to do this step because, as you can see, if I did not go in with that fluffy brush, it was going to be, the application was going to be very harsh on the problem and you never want that. You always want your eyeshadows to blend. Um, I started to go in with that pointer brush with the, um, that vivid purple shade in the mini masquerade palette. palette. All of Juvia's Place palettes have the names I believe, I cannot really tell, and I don't have the palette right in front of me because I'm not home right now, but it's that deep purple, and then I started to go in as well with Purple Garnet from my shadow palette. Um, the reason that I named the um, those all, literally every eyeshadow that I have in my palette has a significant meaning to it. Some of them have gems names and some of them just have spiritual names. Like when I made this palette and I thought about this palette, I wanted it to mean something to me and to mean something to anyone who buys it. So that is why I named it after jewels and gems because I'm at a point where I'm into my spiritual side and I'm healing myself. And I just thought that it was a great way to signify my peace and going and self-love with myself with those gems. And those gems are my favorite gems. So, yeah. Just a little brief description for you guys. Just wondering as to why I named the eyeshadows the way that I did. And on my palette, in the back of the palette, all the eyeshadow names are there as well on as in the packaging. So there's two packagings. There's the eyeshadow is palette itself, which has the eyeshadow names in the back in literally order. So obsidian, which is the dark, which is the black, is the first name, and then it goes down in order, and then from left to right as well. If you purchase one of my eyeshadow palettes, and then you will get a sense of what I'm talking about. Um, and then I go ahead and I go in with that same fluffy brush that I used to apply the pink. And I'm just smoothing out all those colors. Like I said before, you always want to go back in with any brush that you use or just a fluffy brush. And get all those colors together. Because you don't want harsh edges. You don't want harsh rounds. You don't want a harsh look. Because it's just not going to look well and it's just not going to blend well. So I go in with that flat ended um, brush. This brush is something like the brush that I use for my eyebrow bone, but instead it's much smaller. I like to use these bra um these type of brushes for when I'm trying to create a halo look or a cut crease look or just applying glitter or um eyeshadow base to a halo look or to a um what you call it any look that I want to apply precision on. Um then right here I, I decided that I wanted to do like a halo look so I went ahead and used the same base eyeshadow base that I used for um to conceal my eye base at first which is the P. Louise Academy um eyeshadow base um like I told you before this eyeshadow base is very tacky and it's very sticky so if you see that you see how I'm applying it and I'm just literally taking applying it to my eyelid and taking the brush off is because it, it has that tacky sensation to it um and I just keep applying and keep applying um I like to apply as much as I need in order to make the eyeshadow that I'm gonna apply on top of it um pop out so as I was saying before I started to plant that eyeshadow base in the middle of my eyelid to give it this halo effect and I also started to take a flat ended brush um, a precision brush and started to plant in more of gem into the inner corners and also um, 
I did that to the left eye and also to the right eye. Um, I then started to take that same flat end brush that I was using earlier and um, I started to um, press down into the eyeshadow base with, um, I believe that eyeshadow is um, rose quartz on my eyeshadow palette. Amber's Volts Call Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this one is a shimmer press pigment, so it's not a loose um, shimmer shade. It's more of a pressed shimmer shade. And what I did is that I I um, covered the eyeshadow base with this press pigment, and then on top of it, I also um, used glitter NYX glitter glue um, to apply the loose glitter that I'm going to be applying on top of this shade. Um, I really like this glitter glue from NYX. I used to use Too Faced um, glitter glue, but it's very expensive and um, I'm more of I want to wear makeup, but I don't want to rip my pockets as well. So NYX does the same job as um, the Too Faced Glitter Glue. And as you can see, I started to use another flat end brush, but it's more much smaller, where I was able to pick up the glitter and plant it on top of that shade. Um, this glitter I got from N um, Ricky's NYC. And unfortunately, Ricky's NYC is no longer up. Um, they closed down way before the pandemic, and I don't know why. I guess they must have went bankrupt or whatever. And yeah, so I had the opportunity to go and rack up on some products from them before they closed down. And I really love going for them for their loose glitters and their eyelashes that's when i really was into eyelashes and lily eyelashes and they just always had them so i was always in there but nevertheless you can see that i'm starting to press down this loose glitter and then what i do is what i did before i apply the pressed pigment is um i went ahead and started to apply that pink again i started to apply the pink that's in the palette aura and it just it just hits baby look 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 and this is when i started to become more satisfied with my look like it's just something about applying glitter to a look and up then just finessing it with some eyelashes and eyeliner i feel like that's what makes the eyeshadow pop out more if you get what i'm saying but I started to go in again into my cut crease just to make everything look smoother on the top. Look, look before I put eyeliner and a naked look of me using Amber's Volt Co. And plus the two other palettes, that, well, three other palettes that I use. The Khaki Calling and the Artistry palette from um, Morph. And then the Juvia's, the two colors that I use from Juvia's Place. But, yeah. This is my baby. Look at the pinks. You got the pinks. You got the purple. You got the shimmer. You got the <laughs> you got the glitter. And this glitter that I use to top it off or on top of the pressed glitter that I have, I use this glue glitter. I have purchased this glitter. I can't even tell you how long ago from um, Ricky's NYC before they just did a massive close down of all their stores. So... Yeah, that that glitter I have for some time, so I can't even tell you what's the name of it because all of the lettering has rubbed off from it, so I'm so sorry about that, guys. But what I'm going to do is, I was thinking about not doing a wing, I'm just going to leave the eye look just the way that it is, and apply my lashes, of course, ah, my babies, let me show you, these are brand new lashes that came in stock for our Valentine's Day sale. These are amber, and amber are 25 millimeters, and look at that, it's so full and luscious. Hold on, let me take it out of the case because it's looking too iridescent on the camera, but these are them, and I'm going to apply them. And yeah, I'm just so right here. I'm just showing you guys as to how the eyelashes look. Um, and I start to apply the eyeliner. Um, and like I said before, I didn't want to do a, a wing eyeliner over the simple fact that this 
eyeshadow look is very overpowering itself that I do not want to create a wing where it's overpowering the eyeshadow look. So applying these eyelashes is so easy. Like the band on my eyelashes is so, so, so durable and so easy easy to fluctuate with like the application is just so bomb and i'm just not bragging about it but yeah i am bragging about it because they are mine but <laughs> i'm just like i keep it funky i keep it real and i'm not gonna lie these are <laughs> exactly like look how i'm feeling myself that's how you're gonna feel using my products um so yeah um, the eyelash tool that I'm using as well is the eyelash tool tweezer. Um, I love, 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 love this eyelash tool. It's so easy to hold, to hold your eyelashes and apply them. Like, look how easy I'm applying my lashes. It's just like, easy. Like, boom, glue, boom, bam, boom, boom, done. Like, I remember the first time I used to apply eyelashes and it was so hard for me to use a, a regular a tweezer that when I came into um into hand with this eyelash tool I never went back so yes I do sell these eyelash tools on my website for only five dollars and it's so easy like it's really the most essential tool you need um and at this very moment I got some glue inside my tear duct and I swear that that is more painful than ever getting something inside your tear eye tear duct you just want to remove everything like remove the eyelashes period but for the sake of this video i kept them on baby <laughs> um but yeah guys um look at me 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 like damn <laughs> For the love of makeup. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the last bit of the voiceover. And at this very moment, I applied my setting spray. And I love you guys. <laughs> Alright, girls. So, uh, this is the final some contour, some blush, you know, the big show bang. Um, I went ahead and like fixed my hair a bit. I try to take out some of the makeup that's on the end of my hair, but it's just blending in with the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put gloss. I wanted to put a matte lipstick, but mm, my face is already matte, so I'm just going to go ahead and put on a gloss. Um, I'm going to be using my new gloss from my cosmetic line called Bratz. And I'm going to be using it with Fairy's Lip Liner. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And when I be back, I'm going to put on my sweater and that's the great shebang.
So this is the final look with Bratz lip gloss and liner in Fairy. Um, as of right now, I do not sell my lip liners separately. They automatically come with the lip kit. So once you purchase a lip kit, you'll be getting a matching liner to the matching um, matte liquid lipstick. Um, I will be soon having single eyeliners. I just wanted to know what what um, excuse me I just wanted to know what specific ones my um, clients and my customers like and so yeah so once I gotta fill that then I know which individual ones you guys like based on how many you guys sell out of our lip kits so I'm gonna go ahead off the camera I'm gonna go ahead and put on my sweater and take some photos and try ball game. So this is the final look with the earrings, the sweater that I was talking about, Juicy Couture sweater. I'll show you the back. I'll show you the little logo and stuff. I can't really turn my back. I'm living in this space right here. But if you go on my Instagram page, you will see the full sweatsuit. And these are some hoop earrings, bamboo hoop custom earrings that I had got from this um, black owned business called Unique Hoops. Um, unfortunately, I don't see her on Instagram no more, but I always kept, I always keep things that I always purchase that I buy from other people that I support and I was like, you know what, I'm not, why, why, why? Like, discard them after a while when I can always use them. It has my logo, my brand's name on it, and they're just very unique and they're just me. It gives me a more 2000 slash 90s love vibe. But, um, yeah, so this is the final look. I just did a little. <laughs> A little Instagram reel. I'm trying to get into the TikTok thing and Instagram um, reel thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, my grandma is usually my little helper. But I'm going to go ahead and use my phone as well with this app that I have. that um, And now connects my phone to my um, camera. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. That will <laughs> help me get <laughs> and get more subscribers and just keep the whole algorithm going. I love you guys. Do not forget to visit my site, www.ambersvaultco.com. I will highly appreciate it. Please like, share, and comment any questions you would like to ask me or have any comments to this video down below. I hope you guys have a blast. So I promise you guys I'll give you a little hint as to what the prize is. It is um, an eyeshadow palette. So um, comment down below eyeshadow palette if that's the hint. This is the end of the video and I hope you guys, the first three winners, um, write down below and I'll be contacting you via Instagram. So you have to be insta following our Instagram page. And don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to li li <laughs> leave a little comment. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs>